Hello everybody, happy Friday. Coach Rachel here in the kitchen again. And you guys are in for a big treat today. We are not just making a collagen recipe, we're doing a collagen chia seed overnight pudding that you can make within three to four hours or you can do overnight. So we're gonna step it up a notch to show you guys and all those people that love to do meal prepping, this one is perfect for you because this is a healthy treat that you can run to that's in your kitchen that you can eat anytime or it's a great meal, like if you want it for breakfast, it's something really nourishing. So let's go ahead and get started, guys. And as you can see, it's Friday. I'm going big hair Friday, why not? Because it's exciting, it's another weekend. I can't believe how quickly time is going by, but I'm excited for you guys to join me in the kitchen again. This one is super, super simple today. It's literally one cup of almond milk or any nut milk of choice, followed with uh, chia seeds. We are doing Three, uh, four tablespoons of chia seeds, a teaspoon of vanilla, and that is it. Literally, that is it. It's so, so simple to do, and like I said, you know what, I just realized I forgot my mic, so I hope you guys can hear me, but I, it is a delicious snack that you can put in the fridge and you can prep any time, because chia seeds are super, super healthy for you, and the cool thing about chia seeds is they're hydrophilic, which means they turn into like a gel-like texture on the outside, so when you put them in li liquid, they have the ability to absorb 10 times the amount of liquid for their body. So that's why when you put them in liquid and you let them sit, they actually expand and they become very jelly-like. So it really creates an interesting like tapioca texture to our recipe. So it's super simple to take something like a chia seed, which is really packed with a lot of nutrition. It's, you know, has high fiber, has protein, it's a healthy fat with your omega-3s in there. So you're gonna have a really healthy nutritional little snack that you guys can go to any time that you are hungry. So, like I said, very, very simple to do. You can go ahead and grab a uh, like a mason jar or if you have a glass jar, those are great as well. And you're gonna just add your nut milk of choice. Today I'm gonna do coconut because I'm gonna show you my little spin on this one. I'm gonna put coconut in here and then we're gonna add in our chia seeds. And with the chia seeds, like I said, they absorb a lot of liquid. So you wanna stir quite frequently so they don't clump up, otherwise, the jelly-like texture that starts to form will make them form into little balls. And we want them to be more evenly dispersed so that they're more like a tapioca uh, texture. So I'm gonna add in a little bit of time, and as I'm adding it, I'm just making sure I stir it in. All right. Just keep adding, adding, adding. As you guys can see, when you first add it, it's just very liquidy, but you just wanna make sure you don't form any chunks in here. Super, super simple, it's fun to eat and easy to do, guys. This is something I can do like at night, right before bed, it takes me like less than five minutes. And it's a great little snack in the morning or anytime you have a sweet tooth. And it's so, like, so flexible. You can do so many different things with it. You can add cocoa powder to make like a chocolate one. I see Priscilla use chia seeds and oatmeal. Oh my God, chia seeds and oatmeal is delicious. You can add them to, you know what I add them to my uh, waters. I put a little lemon in, a little bit of chia seeds. And it's a great little fun, like boba like, healthy boba like texture in any of your drinks. So, this is it right here. I have my nut milk of choice. I have one cup, and then I have four tablespoons of chia seeds. And what you want to do is you want to add one tablespoon of chia seeds to every one fourth cup of milk. That's like the, the, the texture that you want to go for. Any less than that, you'll be too liquidy. And any more of that, you'll have a really, really thick pudding. So, one tablespoon. To our uh, one tablespoon of chia seeds to one fourth cup of milk, and then to that I have pure vanilla extract. Add a little bit of flavor in there, and guys, this is like a healthy substitute for my tapioca pudding that I grew up with that I loved. So this is a healthier version of it right here, and this is why I was telling you guys I like to use coconut milk. I'm gonna do a little coconut uh, shavings in there. So that way it'll be more like a tropical little treat. So I have my chia seeds, I have my coconut shavings, and I have my vanilla. And that is it. That's simple. And you, like I said, you want to make sure to keep stirring it a few times before you put it in the fridge. Because if you don't, it'll clump up. So this way you're making sure it's like about this consistency, which is a little bit like it's evenly dispersed and starting to thicken up a little bit. But it's not too watery yet where it's still going to clump up. So once you mix it up, that, that is simply it. You're just gonna cover it and put it in the fridge. Anywhere from three to four hours, they'll be ready, or overnight, like I said, is a nice treat in the morning. Or you guys can make a big batch of this and just have it in the fridge so anytime you're craving something sweet, you go to this, which is really, really delicious. 
And if you want, you can, if you want to sweeten it up a little bit, you can add in some stevia to this. I personally like to leave it as is because I sweeten it up with my toppings. And that's what I'm excited to show you guys because like TV magic, we have already done delicious chia seed puddings that I made for you. And like I said, I'm going to come closer. You guys got to see these, how cute these are. So when they thicken up, you can see it makes a beautiful little texture. This one I added strawberries to and some coconut shavings. You can toast it up. It's delicious. This one I did a little bit of almond butter, some toasted walnuts, and some bananas. Ooh, look how delicious and simple. Healthy, delicious little treats. And you'll be able to see, let me show you this. The texture is crazy. You can see, like, it gets thick. It becomes thicker, so it's, it's, it gives you that pudding texture without having to add any unhealthy stuff to it. That's the beautiful thing about cheese seeds and how they're able to absorb so much water and become a gel-like texture. So guys, oh, I, you know what? I forgot. I was so excited to tell you the recipe, but this is a great one you can do as is, or like I said, I like to go back and I like to throw in a scoop of my collagen into it. So you throw in a scoop of your collagen into your mixture. So you'll add your almond milk, Make sure you mix your chia seeds in and then slowly add in a scoop of collagen. That way you're boosting it up. You're getting another form, another way to get collagen in while you're, you're amping up and giving more protein to this delicious snack. And you don't even taste it. It's just another way to, to keep working on your digestion, keep building your body, keeping it strong. And so you can see this one's already getting pretty thick in here, but it just mixes right in. I just dumped that scoop of collagen in and just disintegrated it right in there and mix it up. Then I'll put that in the fridge. So I almost forgot that part, guys. I got too excited. But yes, this is a great way to amp up and boost up your chia seed pudding. And like I said, you can make big batches. You can do small batches, depending on how many you want to have. But it can stay in the fridge. Mine never lasts more than a couple days because they're so delicious. And I, like I said, you can have so many fun ways to eat it. They're so cute. They're like little, little treats that you can enjoy during the day. But Thank you guys again. I decided to mix it up so we didn't do a smoothie video, but I wanted to do an overnight chia pudding, or like I said, it's ready in three to four hours. So let me know if you guys try it. You can put so many different things on top, from your nuts to your uh, nut butters to fresh fruit. That's a great way to sweeten it up. Coconut with some pineapple slices. That'd be delicious as well, almost like a pina colada. You could do cocoa nibs, and a little bit of nut butter and some banana. You know, so many choices. You can do hemp seeds. So guys, get creative and enjoy your collagen boosted chia pudding. Delicious. Like I said, it's a highly recommended, great snack you can enjoy anytime. All right, guys, hope you have a wonderful Friday. Thank you again for joining me in the kitchen. I'll see you guys on Monday. Take care.